Hi all, welcome to the part 2 video of our postpartum recovery discussion. In this video, we are going to answer some common questions on postpartum depression, bowel movements, hair and skin changes etc. We will help you navigate the transformative period of postpartum with confidence and self-care. Welcome to Bunny Hug YouTube channel, your trusted companion on the incredible journey of pregnancy and parenthood where all the information are carefully curated and verified by a team of expert doctors. What is postpartum depression and how to deal with it? Postpartum refers to the period after childbirth typically lasting around 6 weeks during which a woman's body goes through physical and emotional changes signs of postpartum depression includes persistent sadness or mood swings loss of interest in things fatigue and low energy social withdrawal difficulty in bonding with the baby etc dealing with postpartum challenges involves rest proper nutrition and self care address emotional well being by connecting with loved ones seeking professional support if needed and being patient with yourself will there be change in bowel movements after pregnancy bowel movements after giving birth can be affected by factors like soreness stitches or fear of pain stay hydrated and eat a fiber rich diet to prevent constipation use a stool softener if advised by a healthcare provider to reduce discomfort support your perineal area with a clean pad during bowel movements relax and breathe deeply and try not to strain what are the hair and skin changes that might occur after pregnancy hair loss and skin changes are common postpartum experiences hair shedding can occur due to hormonal changes but it is usually temporary maintain a balanced diet rich in vitamins and minerals to support hair health skin changes like acne or pigmentation shifts might arise staying hydrated following a skin care routine and using sun protection can help what is the solution for sore or cracked nipples after pregnancy sore or cracked nipples after giving birth can result from breastfeeding ensure a proper latch allowing the baby's mouth to cover both the nipple and areola apply a linoleum based nipple cream after feeding keep nipples dry and wear loose breathable clothing avoid using soap on nipples and air dry them how long after giving birth can you have intercourse generally doctors recommend waiting for 6 weeks after vaginal birth before resuming sexual activity to allow healing c section recovery might require a longer wait while we strive to provide accurate and reliable information we are intended for general guidance and educational purposes only and remember every pregnancy and parenting journey is unique and most importantly your health and well being for your child is paramount Therefore we recommend consulting your own healthcare provider for personalized guidance and recommendations. Thank you for watching the video. If you found this video helpful, like, share and subscribe to Bani Hak India.